Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another video. <laughs> Got my e-bike inside. I was keeping it back by the door, but couldn't get the door open all the way. It's pretty big actually. So I'm parking it here. Um, I mean, I can get around and everything, so it's all right. Anyhow, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I was thinking about heading over to the park. It's, you know, there's the parks are all small here in town. Washington Park is the biggest one, and it's small, uh, if you've seen, seen it. But um, there's a park right over here, just about a block away. It's a nice little park, but uh, a lot of people coming off the highway um, to stop and get fuel or whatever, they go over there. And that's, you know, they let their dogs out or kids and stuff. And that's the one where the people, I don't know, they throw their cats out and either they can't get their cats back in the car or whatever, but they abandon their cats over there. And my neighbor next door has all those cats. Um, and I've been feeding them. I put a bowl of milk out every day for them. But... Uh, yeah, there's about, he's got like about 15 of them over there. Doesn't bother me. I mean, I I enjoy them. They run all around, you know. Yeah, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. There's not much to do here in town. Um, we don't have any shows, you know, of any kind. Not a theater. Well, we do have a theater. <laughs> but it's not much, and... Uh, I'm not sure if it's open all the time or whatever. It's got like four, three or four, I think, theaters in one. It's in an old, old building. And besides that, though, I mean, we don't have any shows you can go to or anything like that. I mean, it's basically nothing. You're, you just have to provide your own entertainment. So... I don't know, I'm going to take a ride on the bike, I guess. And we'll see what happens. We'll stick around and check it out, see what I do. Well, it's 84 degrees out right now. Uh, they were saying it was going to be 90-something, now they lowered it down to 89. It's supposed to be in the 90s the rest of the week. It's about noon. And I'm going to get out and go for a little ride on the bike. Uh, just to get out, get some air, something to do. So, I'm going to be on my way. Army when it first 
first came into town, I was, I had been in that homeless shelter for a month, and I came up here, and I had to spend all my money to get up here and get rid of all my stuff, and I was really low on food, and I came up here to this Salvation Army because I was looking for a food bank in town. I was out of food. And as far as I can tell, it's deserted. I've never seen anybody here. He has a sign up, or somebody has a sign up on the door saying children's classes from like 10 o'clock till 11 o'clock. Nobody's ever here. So, no luck getting any food there. And down over here, they have the trailer park. RV park over there. Um, that's kind of nice. That's the back of the hospital right there. witnesses like to drive fast and try and run over bicycles. That's what this guy did. Well, I guess if you got the Lord on your side, you can just go ahead and run over bicycles. It don't matter. Well, I got another car coming up this other way. God. And the car coming down this way. Usually there's no traffic on this road at all. What the hell is going on today? I said the F words and now YouTube is going to age restrict this video. Yeah. 
bike. It's just like when you're walking and you're crossing the street and you're waiting for the car to go by so you can crawl, take your time across the street. And then they slow up and they want you to go ahead of them and it's like, no, go on by. I got a better chance of you not hitting me once you're gone. Park about a block away from my place. And, uh, it's a nice little park, but I don't know. I mean, there's really nothing to do. I don't even think they have a real good place to sit. Let's see if I can get up these stairs easy or what. A little help from the motor there. We'll sit down for a little bit. There. Oh. Got the light on. Don't know why. There. I don't think I need it in here. So yeah, I'm just taking a ride, get out. You got the train here. Playground. I had this in one of my old videos, but I put music to it. We got a castle for kids and stuff. And playground. That's about the size of the park. All the parks here in Rollins are about this size, except for Washington Park. Yeah. Somebody's weed eating over there. And the kids are playing in the backyard. But anyhow, I'm gonna smoke the cigarette and then figure out what I'm going to do. Hang in there. They have all these abandoned motels here in town. The town is just filled with them. Sitting, rotting. What's worse is they just allotted like a five hundred thousand dollar grant to the city to try and refurbish these and make them into apartments for like you know people elderly and everything. But, I was told that a couple of years ago they were allotted $400,000 to do the same thing and nothing was ever done. That money went into somebody's pockets for lunches, for dinners, for galas, stuff like that. But nothing, 
has been done. There's all kinds of properties that could be transformed, remodeled, but the people just pocket the money, the politicians. It's terrible. Here's another one. This one is the Express Inn. Too friendly. That vehicle's been back there for a long time. Just sitting here ever since I've been here. These are all over town, just abandoned, left to rot. Where I live, the, right across the street, across the parking lot, is the abandoned motel. Yeah, see, right across the parking lot for me, that's an abandoned motel. I told it's been abandoned for at least a couple of decades. It just sits there and rots. The guy who owns it is in Texas. Uh, I guess he has enough money, he just can let it rot. I don't know. It's another one. <sighs> well, Looks like it's gonna rain when I came home. I was pretty bored anyhow. Sorry, it's kind of a boring video. I had another one <laughs> on my last video. You know, my the majority of my viewers are 50 and above. And uh you know, everybody knows that, you know, seniors can be just as stupid as everybody, you know. I mean, we're the same people, we're just older, you know. But I had, in the last video, uh, I showed that I had bought um, some things and I had bought a helmet and stuff. And, Sure enough, in the comments, some woman says, you gotta wear a helmet. One of the other viewers commented back, didn't you, didn't you see the video? Or something like that, and I put a comment on there. Did you even watch the video? You know, gotta wear a helmet. Look, I just bought a helmet. I'm sorry, but it's so stupid. I can't believe it, you know? I mean, I mean, I could have an elephant walk by right now. And, you know, somebody would, I don't know, they would say something. They wouldn't even see the elephant or something, you know? I don't know. It amazes me. I've always thought people are smarter than that. Maybe that's my fault. Gotta wear a helmet. Yeah, well. It does get pretty isolated out here sometimes. I mean, if you don't have kids or family here, then there's really not much to do unless you have a vehicle and you can get out and go fishing or something like that, you know. But, you know, I don't. Um, I've been, I had that bad luck lately. 
last Wednesday, well, before that, a little bit before that, my phone went out. So I had to buy a new phone. These cigars don't like to stay lit. Anyhow, so I had to buy a new phone. And it was through Stray Talk. And so I went to get my number changed over. For some reason, it wasn't changing over. And I was without a phone a couple of days. So then I decided, oh, I'd go with a different company and get a new number and everything. And even though I had that, my old number since, oh God, decades, for decades. So anyhow, I went with this Boost Infinite. And I paid them money. And every time I'd log on to try and activate the phone, they'd say, your account is not set up yet. So four days went by. Well, being out here without a phone, I can't order the bus. Uh, I can't check on my bills, you know, my balances and stuff. So I just said, screw it. So I went back to Straight Talk and I went on and just give me a new number. And I paid I bought a plan. So turn off your phone, turn it back on, you'll have a phone. Sure enough, I turned it off, turned it back on, had the phone again, so I got the phone back. But that boost, then after like a week, then they came, now they were bothering me, you know, activate your account, activate your account. Well, they already took my money and everything, and I haven't been using any of their services and stuff. So I finally called them up and waited online or on the phone and so now they said they would refund my money we'll see so anyhow i had that happen to me and then last wednesday after i went shopping my regular food shopping i got home and i was sitting down and watching tv and my tv went out so i had had some money in savings and so I didn't want to just I mean there's nothing to do right so my neighbor was kind enough to give me a ride down to Walmart and they had that 58 inch it's a Hisense Roku TV it's got the Roku built in a 58 inch and it was only 258 bucks I think that's a good deal so I got that but that drained my savings so now I have to watch every little thing I do again you know but so I had that that was another bad luck thing then I had to walk down to that senior center because I didn't have a phone and you need to make uh, reserve a ride on the bus a day in advance. And I didn't have a phone, so I had to walk down to the senior center and catch the bus driver and ask him, you know, can I get a ride tomorrow to go to the store because I had to pay my rent and bills and everything. And I hadn't been walking like I used to. I had the hip problems. I'm having leg problems and just this last year, man, the physical stuff is just piling up on me, you know. And I don't, I appreciate it, but please don't tell me, well, you know, you need to exercise. And, yeah, you, you know. Great. Thank you. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, so I had been having bad luck, you know, and I think it's finally over, but 
Let's see how open it is. Well, then I went to log in to the social security account because I was going to change my phone number, update my new phone number. Well, when you go to log in, they want to send you a text message and says, they listed my old phone number. And then underneath it, it said, no, this is, this is not a way that I can receive it anymore. So I checked that. And then they said, okay, well, you can't log into your account now. We're going to send you some paperwork in the mail. And you'll have to fill it out and get it back to us. And so now I'm worried about my social security, you know, because I'm a worry ward. So I'm just hoping nothing, I'm hoping you don't have bad luck with that. If that happens, I don't know what the hell I'd do, you know. I mean, people are in, seniors especially, I mean, we are the biggest growing homelessness you know, population. And it's because Social Security doesn't pay enough and the, the price of rents are, is, you know, just astronomical now. I mean, that's what happened to me in Cheyenne. The new owners bought the property, they raised the rent up 50%. It was all, it was a senior property too. And nobody could afford it. And everybody, a lot of people had children that they could go and live with, but a lot of other people didn't. I don't know what they did. And I wound up in the homeless shelter for a month and I didn't think I was gonna get out of there. I kept looking for a property and looking for a property. Finally found this one on Craigslist by accident, really. Well, not by accident, but luck, I guess. I could barely afford it because it's pretty high price, you know, especially for what it is. I mean, everybody likes the brick and everything, but yeah, I have no kitchen, no kitchen sink or anything like that. That counter, I just kind of made into a kitchen in there. But, I mean, I have to wash everything in the bathroom sink and, you know, and uh, it's the only place to get water, you know. And, stuff but and it's just a well you, you've seen it you know it's just the one room basically and that little tiny room up front but it's a lot of money for that I mean they have places here in town regular houses even, small little tiny houses for the same rent I'm paying here, but nobody will move out of them, you know, I mean, they're gonna stay there forever, you know. So there's hardly any places come up for rent here in town. There's hardly anywhere to rent. Most of it is, it's not like other places. It's, there's not a lot of apartments, anything like that. It's mostly houses. People here that have been born and raised here and haven't been around, they don't know how much privilege they have, you know, growing up in a house. Uh, when their parents buy another house, and they get the parents' old house, you know. I mean, when the parents die, most of them work for the refinery, and I'm sure they have some kind of, well, I don't know if they have a retirement because everybody's given up retirement. I remember when my father was, he worked for Greyhound Bus Lines all of his life, and I don't know how many years, probably 40 years or something. And uh, a new company bought it out and said, well, you can take early retirement or, you know, in other words, you'll get fired if you don't. And they offered a settlement. They called them buyouts, you know, but he didn't get a retirement. He just got the buyout, he got a settlement. And it wasn't much at all. After 40 years of working, you know, 
that's like me all those years working and I looked there's a site on the web where you can look and find out how much you paid in taxes all these years and I looked and I can't remember what it is but it was like giant you know I mean you wouldn't believe how much I've paid in taxes and then when Social Security comes up you don't get crap you know you retire you don't get shit and it's that way for a lot of people we just hit that one thing I mean the generation before us a lot of them got lucky and got retirement and everything then came our generation and the retirement went away I mean I even worked uh, for the city in Cheyenne was for the county uh, on base as a civilian and they didn't even have a retirement plan I don't know, it's the way it is. Fortunately, I mean, most people are too worried or about their everyday lives, you know, trying to make their bills or family or whatever and things, and, or they're just not thinking about it. And then the time goes by really fast and before you know it you're my age and then you oh no i don't know what the hell's going on you know so a lot of people wind up working you know keep on working i'm afraid if i work which I can't really now. Anyhow, I'm having such bad problems with my legs and my hip and everything, my foot, you know, all like that, and other problems. But if I were, were to be able to work, I'd be worried that they cut out my Social Security while I was working, you know, and then I might never get it back. It's it's a pain in the ass to get your uh, Social Security, you know. I mean, all the forms and filling out and waiting and it's just a pain in the butt. And if anything ever happens and it messes up, um, it's be a pain in the ass to get it straightened out. Especially here, I, they probably only have one person down at the Social Security office here in town. And, you know, you really have to go in in person because you do it online and nothing ever gets done right. But yeah, it can get, I'm used to being alone now. I've been alone for a while, but it can get kind of lonely. nice just to have someone like I said like a female neighbor my age and we could sit out here and talk and I could you know, make us uh, lunch or dinner or whatever barbecue outside something like that you know just nice things you know it would be nice There was a no pet policy here because I wanted to get a dog. And then the woman moved in in the front place. That's a big place and it costs a lot more. Anyhow, that's like the lobby of the motel. It's got a fireplace and upstairs and everything. Kitchen, full kitchen, everything. Anyhow, she moved in and she's got a dog. So I don't know, I guess the pet policy doesn't apply anymore. I was thinking about 
and I really should check in to get in the dog. The only thing is, is if I get the dog, then my landlord, he, he doesn't live here, he lives in New Mexico, but he'll find out about it. And then he'll go, well, you need another $200 deposit for the dog or something. Or maybe he'll go like, oh, you have to pay $25, $50 a month for rent more, you know, more, and rent more a month for the dog, you know, and I don't know about that. I should ask her, maybe I will. She's kind of, she's kind of uh, afraid. I, I don't know if, she's not really afraid of me, but I don't know if somebody treated her wrong or she's just had bad times with men or something, but she kind of acts like everybody's, uh, you know, out to get her like sexually or something or whatever. I'm too old for that, you know. But I don't know. She is nice though. But I should ask her if she's paying. If she put a deposit down, has to pay extra uh, rent for the dog. Because I'd really love to have a dog, you know. But anyways, I think this video is probably long enough. Sorry, it was pretty boring. Um, I'm just bored, I want something to do, so, you know, figured I'd make a video. I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope you come back and check out my next video. Okay, everybody. Talk to you later.